Hey everyone, Craig here with Cost Certified. As you can see, I'm in the estimating engine and I'm just about to build out a quote for a client. And one of the things that I want to show you is how you build an assembly. So if you scroll down here, you can see add an item to this quote. We're going to click on that and it's going to bring up your list of choices. You could either choose to add a new item or a new assembly. An item is an individual entity by itself. An assembly is a grouping of those items or like a container if you want to use a different terminology for those items to be housed. So today we're going to talk about building a new assembly. So we click on this, I'm going to add it to my quote and then you can rename it as to something that works in your favor for what the, the assembly is going to be about. So here I'm going to call it a kitchen renovation. And within the kitchen renovation, you can house many different items. So this will hold things like your backsplash, your countertops, your cabinets, your flooring, painting, anything that would go on when you're building a kitchen or doing a kitchen renovation, I should say. And all you do to add the items in there is you just click the add an item to the assembly and you can build out the items itself and save it in here. The other thing to note with assemblies is you can create an assembly within an assembly. So that way you can kind of house the details you need to house within specific entities that you're building. If we want to reuse this assembly again in the future, come up to the top here, click the circle with three dots and just save it as a new searchable assembly. It will then save it into your library, which you can tell by the stacking of the three circles here off to the left.